All right, here we go. Spawning is the Red Knight Elf up 1-0 in this best of five from Ukraine. We have Foggy. And his opponent spawning is the Yellow Orc. He's down, but he's not out from South Korea. We have Focus. Orc versus Night Elf, Echo Isles. All right. Let's see if Focus has a better game than he did last time. I think it was going well for him. It's just that last fight. He just wasn't getting enough damage done on the Talons. Foggy did a good job keeping his hero cycle. And I think he lost his Spirit Walkers kind of early-ish. I know the Fairy Dragon was doing some damage to him in Mana Fair form. So, yeah. He wasn't really disenchanting. Alright, so Foggy, he's going to play it relatively safe. He's going to do the safer Ancient War Creep at the green instead of doing it down here and getting the Merc Camp. So he's going to play a little defensive. He doesn't want to take too many risks because if Focus sees a mistake, he will definitely capitalize on it. If he sees a weakness, he will capitalize on it. Focus is <laughs> he's pretty good at domination. So we see Demon Hunter first. Blade Master first. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Focus is more than likely going to do the one bro tech. He's probably just going to send his blade out, snipe the Ogre Warrior, hoping for a claws to circle it, and maybe later on move to snipe the Ogre Magi. But that is also something a Night Elf could do. At nighttime, they can also run in and snipe the Ogre Magi. So we'll see which player gets the Ogre. I feel like they're going to fight for it. Got the grunts, shop with scout. Everything's running smooth. Players forces no lag. Attack. I'm happy about that. So, while this ancient war creep goes on, let's see if we got any new followers during that last game. We got Batu Common in Weldom 1988. Thank you guys for the follow. Welcome to the family. Appreciate it. Ah, uh, Claws plus six. Good start for Foggy. Let's see if Focus is as lucky or if he's going to be Lord of the Rings this game. A lag spike here and there, but still, definitely much better than when this tournament started. Ah, ring. Focus. He might be Lord of the Rings this game. He keeps the ring, though. Nope. Oh, Foggy coming in with that aggression again. Oh, Troll Trapper getting a snare on the grunt. Calling Foggy to get some hits off. Ooh, nice wound walk. Denying that mana burn and lets him get in more backstab in. Some more damage. Ooh, gets the third wind walk in. So, Focus draining all of his mana to push out this Demon Hunter at the moment. But he does save the grunt. It looks like he wants to finish this. I think he was originally going to run over and do the Magi, but then Foggy ran in and kind of ruined his plan. Focus needs to be careful. If that grunt gets ensnared again, Foggy could definitely well try to snipe him. So, needs to be careful. Archer's coming in. Still running around. Foggy's Demon is starting to get a little low. Oh, there's the ensnare from the Forest Troll Trapper. He's a pesky little creep. He's an annoying creep. I can tell you that much for sure. This grunt's taking a lot of damage. You don't want to lose a grunt in the early game. That's 200 gold down the drain right there. <laughs> a lot of dancing here. <laughs> he didn't want the archer stealing that. All right, let's take a look at the text. Tech about halfway done for focus. Same for foggy. And no hunter's hall. So, yeah, definitely going to go talents again. And focus. With the Ring of Protection, it looks like he wants to try to get the Ogre Magi. He buys Claws plus 6 from the marketplace. So, getting that damage boost in. Foggy, on the other hand, he picked up Boots of Speed and his Staff Teleportation. So, he's preparing to try to cancel Focus's Tier 2 when he gets the Beastmaster, of course. And we got the third the grunt, are second under grunt coming in for Focus. Nice shot of Melda on the Archer. No, nope, that's the third grunt. Oh, nice block in the whiz. Does get a detonate, so no experience. And focus with no dust. Might want to pick up some dust. One thing that hurt him last game was he didn't have dust, which allowed Foggy to save his archer multiple times. Ah, uh, Foggy bought out the dust, Danny. <laughs> Clever little night elf. <laughs> so yeah, focus really can't get to that archer at the moment. And Foggy now getting level 2. 2-2 two, two just about to finish. Focus... If the Beastmaster comes out, he might get surrounded. I think Foggy realizes this. I love, I love this play. Will it work? I don't think Foggy. Players forces are. Oh no, time. it didn't work. Ah, oh, Beastmaster. He, he still might get surrounded though. Maybe. He's 
kind of fast. Grunts aren't the fastest units in the world. And here comes Foggy with the Demon Hunter. We got the Tarn Chieftain. Bestiary. Spirit Lodge being built all the way down here. Focus wants to make sure Foggy doesn't scout it. And here we go. Foggy running in. One weaker peon going to get to the safety of the burrow. Yeah, and Foggy sees there's no Spirit Lodge. He might actually fall for this. This is this would be good play out of Focus. Attack. Nah, Foggy's smarter than that, though. He sees it now. He's like, come on, really, Focus? You're going to try this stuff on me? So, not a good day to be that Spirit Lodge, I would say. Is under there he goes. Does get canceled. Speed scroll. <laughs> Trying to save the peon. Go, peon, go. Ah, yeah, he'll get to the burrow in time. <laughs> nice save. TC's out with Endurance R, and Foggy will be pushed back. The Beastery was able to finish, so Raider Production has started at the same time. Tier 3, uh, their Double Ancient of Wind, Talent Adept training, and he, he, he builds the Spirit Lodge up here. That's pretty out in the open, man. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, Blade Master going for the Ogre Magi still. And there's another pair of claws, claws plus six in the marketplace. Should Focus want to buy it? If he gets a bad item, he could probably sell it to buy the claws. Let's we'll see what he gets. Scroll the beast. Yeah. Sell it. Did he buy claws? Now he bought a circlet instead. So Blade now at plus eight. Took a loads of damage though. He's going to do a heal salve. Looks like Focus wants to go in for a push. I missed this. Foggy was ancient war creeping with this. And he picks up the Troll Berserker. Beastmaster quickly getting snapped in for the defense. Healing Salve gets canceled from the Quill Beast. And Focus wants to try to kill one of the Ancients. Well, I don't think it's going to happen. And Focus should be backing off. Does he have a Speed Troll? Yes, he does. Heal Salve being thrown onto the blade. And he's going to run out. All right, Spirit Lodge is up now. First Spirit Walker on the way. Pillage! being upgraded for focus so looks like he wants to do maybe some raider run by shenanigans go grubby style as a lot of people might say it grubby did that quite a bit i think he did it mostly versus undead though, but it's still viable versus attack. night elf so we're gonna creep Level 2, that cool beast tried, he tried stealing that berserker, wasn't able to do it though. So now Focus finally having critical strike available. Focus, did I say Focus? Foggy crept out his gold mine. I think that 3 a.m. starting to kick in just a little bit. Gets a ring of regen. More regen, or more health regen is not too bad. Ring of regen is not the worst item in the world. You can get some uses out of it. Beastmaster getting level 2, so now he has the Hawk available. We can definitely see in the invisible Blade Master. Are under attack. Focus is going to continue creeping. I think when he gets level 3, he's going to go for level 2 crit instead of the Windwalk. Ah, another cause. Uh, give the TC the Hill Scroll, and he'll give you the cause. Let's see, that was what? Cause plus six. So the Blade Master would be up to plus 14 damage. Not bad. It's a decent. player's forces are under attack. Yep, the players are creeping. Echo Owls, it doesn't have too many creeps on the map. So eventually these players are going to fight each other. Right now it's 49 supply for focus. Foggy at 40. Is he building his fifth moon model? Yes, he is. So he'll soon be able to get up to 50. Staff's over, gets a healing pot, and a orb of venom. Hmm. TP is, of course, on the Beastmaster. A player's forces are under attack. Claw another cause. Another cause. TC even has pen of mana. So if the blade gets all those claws, if he picks up that other cause plus six... That cost plus six, yeah. So that would bring Focus's blade up to plus twenty damage. That's pretty good. I think it's about time you sold that ring, buddy. <laughs> Cause you need this. You need another slot for those claws. All right, peons being pulled here. So obviously, you th the orcs will throw in some peons and put Spearlink on them. It makes the overall health pool of the orc army much bigger. 
All right, my scene engaged me here. Foggy picking up his tinker. It would be 55 versus 49. Focus up by six supply right now. Peons into the fight. There's the spirit links on him. So for those of you that don't know what spirit link does, uh, basically, if a unit with Spirit Link gets hit, all the units with Spirit Link will spread the damage, making the Orc army take less damage. It's good for the start of the fights, but towards the end of fights, when all the Orc units are low, it kind of not as good. Anyways, though, we got a fight here. Cyclone on the TC. So far, two towns gone down. Tinker getting pretty focused. Another Cyclone on the blade. A lot of units going down. Focus using his heal scroll here. Another Cyclone on the Blade Master here. And this time, Foggy's losing quite a bit of talents here. They're all getting pretty low here. All right, another town does go down. Third town goes down. Ooh, Snare. Demon Hunter gonna have to use his heal pot though. A lot of Focus Fire coming in. Was trying to just slow away these Spirit Links. All right, Staff Preservation gonna save the Demon Hunter, but there is no one here to save this Tinker. He is definitely going to go down with a nice critical strike. But at the same time, Focus's units are getting low. TC is down to 190 health. Oh, there's a Cyclone on him. Focus with no TP, no Invul Pot, no nothing. He's got to try to fight out of there. He doesn't want his TC dying. Uh, but Focus is able to. More talents dying. Beastmaster, there's level 4 on the TC. So now he's got level 2 Endurance. All right, he's much quicker now. Definitely a better fight for Focus. It's 37 versus 28 right now. Focus picking up another heal scroll in an in-boom pot. And as back to Warcraft always says, shop control, right? So Focus bought him. Foggy can't. So Foggy's not going to have any heal scrolls. He has another heal pot on his Demon Hunter, though. Ooh. CC. Getting low. Blade Master getting level 4 now. I think he already had a level 2 crit, though. So now he's got a level 2 wind walk. Lots of one of illusion going down onto the blade. Gets another town. Another town getting caught out as well. And Foggy's losing quite a bit here, but the Tarn Chieftain uses the inbone pot. Keeps attack. himself alive. Foggy's still getting chased him down though. The invul pot doesn't last too long. But the ensnare definitely gonna keep the TC alive. He keeps running back, I don't know why. Another Cyclone onto the Blade Master. He might get caught in a bad spot. He has no mana for a wind walk. If he gets surrounded. Oh. Beastmaster. Same time. This Blade Master, he's just doing loads of damage. I don't even think he got the other claws. No, it's still on the TC. So he could even do more damage. But the fairy fire makes him kind of squishy. Gotta be careful. There's the raider. There's the ensnare. Gonna keep that blade alive. Right now it's 35 versus 37. The one perk about Talons is they rebuild super fast. I mean, they're powerful versus Orc, but all in all, you gotta remember, they're a caster unit. And most caster units in this game have a pretty short build time. Or production time, whatever you want to call it. They reproduce really quickly, is what I'm trying to say here. Staff going in. Focus. It looks like he wants to pick up some mercs. The Troll Berserker is pretty nice versus Talons. His Talons take extra damage from piercing. And he does 28 through 37 piercing damage. And most of the creeps have been crept. We got what, two green spots and an OJ spot. That's the only creeps. And the rest of the creeps here. The Magi has been sniped, but the two warriors and trappers are still there. Alright. Both players even on supply now. Focus now going up to 43 with this raider. Oh, wait, that's 46. Where did he get 43 from? Ah, Spirit Walker. Okay. A player's forces <clears throat> are under attack. It looks like Focus wants to maybe do a run by. He did get pillaged, so if these raiders attack Foggy's building, so get a little bit of resources for it. Another ensnare. I think that demon is going for a mana burn. I saw him lifting up his glaives, but the ensnare does cancel the effect. Oop. Gets the shockwave off. Gets some talents for it. Oh, Cyclone going TC, and this does force focus into a fight here. Cyclone onto the blade as well. More Cyclones. Foggy trying to keep Focus's heroes in the air. That The heroes are mostly the damage here. 
Although these raiders are no pushovers too. Talons take extra damage from siege as well. Demon are getting pretty low. He had to use his invul. Blade Master getting Cyclone again, but he is Windwalked, so he will be able to get away. Oop, nice crit. Getting rid of that cool beast. Aw, the poor troll berserker. Alright. It's 43 supply versus 42. Foggy's definitely gonna have a surround on that berserker. Focus is gonna try to free him though, and he does. Another walker coming in. Right, here we go. Spirit Wings coming in. Focus is Blade Master taking a lot of damage. Holy crap, he's taking a lot of damage. And he actually goes down. And Focus calling GG. And Foggy taking a 2 0 lead in this best of five. I, is, is Focus tired? I mean, it's 3 30. That might have something to do with it. He might be feeling fatigued. So, 